14 different prompt optimization techniques to generate stunning images which looks like this, more consistent in regards to the posture and also the image type. These are not real people, these are created using AI. We are going to use chat LLM for teams to generate images. You are able to use multiple large language models and when we create an image, it's going to use Flux and also DALI 3. You can easily compare between Flux image and also DALI image. You can see the details in Flux image. This is really good. Thanks to Abacus AI for sponsoring this video. Click the link in the description to sign up to Chat LLM for Teams. Using the latest best open source image generation model, Flux 1. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Flux prompt optimization techniques. In this, I'm going to show you how you can create images which are more realistic like this, concentrating on the detailed prompting techniques which can result in high quality images. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Here I have opened chat LLM for teams. First, focus on specific details such as age, ethnicity, distinctive features, exact hair color, length, style, detailed skin texture and tone. For example, a vibrant 28 year old woman with long wavy brown hair and smooth olive skin with a natural glow. So we're going to try this example. And here is the result. Look at that. Glowing skin, the hairstyle, the age, better prompt makes it better. Number two, elaborate on professional attire. Describe clothing with attention to fabric, fit and brand like qualities. Mention specific accessories. Here is an example. Dressed in a sleek navy blue blazer over a white blouse and tailored trousers wearing a silver Rolex watch. So I'm going to try to add this to the previous prompt. Trying that again. And here is the picture. Exactly what we expected with the blazer, with the Rolex watch. Third, highlight facial features and expressions. Use precise language for facial structure. Incorporate micro expressions for added realism. So here is an example. High cheekbones with the engaging smile. Slight crinkle at the corner of the eyes. So I'm going to try this. And here is the image, the smile, high cheekbone with engaging smile. Number four, specify pose and body language. Define the exact posture and stance. Include subtle body language cues. Here's an example, standing confidently, leaning slightly forward, right hand gesturing enthusiastically while speaking. So adding this as well. Here, one thing I notice is that sometimes you get multiple hands. So it's better not to mention anything about hands. So better not to use this right hand gesturing. Number five, provide environment and context. Describe the background in detail, mention specific props or technology. So here's an example in a modern conference room standing next to a 4K presentation screen displaying Flux Dev. So adding this prompt. In my prompt, I removed the hand gesture and just adding the final prompt. So here is an image in front of the screen and it says Flux Dev. This is really good. Next, describe lighting and atmosphere. Use photographic lighting terms, add atmospheric effects. Here's an example. Soft key light from the left, slight haze in the background for depth. Let's try this. So you can see a slight key light from the left on her face. And even at the background, there's a slight lighting to show the depth. Next, incorporate dynamic elements. Include subtle motion descriptors, detail micro movements example fingers lightly tapping on the podium has slightly moving from air conditioning so again we are bringing in fingers this could cause an issue let's try that this is really nice hand in the podium and half flying in air conditioning this is getting good next apply composition techniques utilize photography terms for composition include foreground and background elements for depth Example, subject in sharp focus with the blurred background. Rule of thirds applied with subject slightly off center. So just trying this. As you can see, I keep adding those additional prompts to make the image better. Here you go. Making sure the background is always blurred. Slightly off center. Rule of third. It's a term in photography. Standing slightly off the center. Next, convey emotion. Detail emotional states and subtle physical 
manifestations. Describe the overall mood, such as confident, engaging with warm smile, reaching the eyes, copying the prompt. Again, I can see the hands are going off. Let me try that again. Again, I can see there's a slight issue with the fingers. So planning to remove the word engaging because that is causing an issue and also fingers in the podium. I'm just removing those. Next, consider camera angle and framing. Specify the exact camera angle, provide framing details. Example, shot from slightly below eye level, medium close up from chest up. Just copying this, shot slightly below eye level, medium close up in regards to the camera angle. This is beautiful. Next, emphasize photorealistic qualities. Use terms like 8K resolution or photorealistic. Mention photographic qualities. Here is an example, 8K resolution image with shallow depth of field, background slightly out of focus. We already mentioned blurred background. This is just to re-emphasize. So copying the prompt and here is the output. Now getting into more detail in regards to the skin and texture. For the first point, we didn't mention skin texture and tone, but this is a general point focusing on specific details. But here we are defining that specific detail so that we don't miss this. Next, focusing on eye details. Specify eye color characteristics, include eye reflections for realism. Then finally, technical specification like camera details and rendering quality. Here's an example shot with a virtual 85mm lens at focused 2.8, ray traced, lighting for realistic shadows. Here is the final output. Each of the additional prompts will make sure the image we create is what we expected. And it is consistent in regards to the image style, the pose, the lighting, the environment, and other areas. So overall I see whenever we mention fingers or hands, we need to double check if it's generating it correctly. Apart from that, by adding more detailed prompts, the image is going to be more detailed. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.